Hey guys, welcome back. Chase here. Uh, today's video is going to be about the biggest mistakes I see new players and pl other players alike make, and it wastes so much money and so much time. Um, one, the last one I'm going to go over briefly, I'm going to make a whole nother video about, but we're going to go over the biggest ones that I see. It makes people quit, makes people not be happy with the game and stuff like that. So we're going to go over them, so hopefully you don't make the same mistakes. Um, the number one biggest mistake is I see a player starts the game. They're, they're, games like this make a lot of money off new players because new players would be like, all right, I have $300. I need this item. And they're going to go spend, buy it. And then they're going to quit the game, which sucks. So number one biggest mistake I see people making is spamming these something called lucky bags. All these tabs, these are older ones. And then you got these new shiny ones. Oh my God, I can get this 270 weapon. So good. Guess what? You're not going to get that weapon. You're going to spend $300, and you're not going to get that weapon at all. Don't do it unless you have extremes amount of excess capital. Do not buy these bags. You will never get what you want. They're the, they're the lottery. That's how it works. If you if you wanted to win $10,000 in the lottery, you have a better chance, statistically, of working day in and day out and earning that money before you were to win the lottery. Uh, it's it's just how it is. These These things are money drains they're made to take your money but they're also addicting because you'll be, you'll open like uh enchanted paper box kitty and you'll be like oh my god i got something you'll see a big sbc on the bottom super broadcast at the bottom says you got something good and you're like oh i got something i have to keep going because i can keep getting stuff you won't that's how they draw you in you'll get a monkey egg and stuff like that you're like oh i got the paper box kitty it's above the mew box i could get the mew box um mew book you won't get it trust me i spent about $75 on these things didn't get jack didn't get anything not worth buying don't do it I saw see a lot of new players come over here drop $200 on these bags to get these items before they're even ready to use them and then they don't get anything and they're like all right well this game sucks see you later the exception to this rule is once again if you have excess capital or your characters at a point where you just need that thing to push you over the edge so you see these spell bags here um, and you're like oh wow I want this Polar Starburst. That's my number one damage spell. I need this. You can buy that. These these right here are worth buying just for the skills. Um, a lot of these skills aren't in spam events, and this is the only way you're going to be able to get them. These are worth it if you're in a position where you can afford it, and you just need that thing to push you over the edge. These do help in training. Um, the Earth Bags, Poison Fang, Nash, Vine Swarm all help me immensely. I have five for all of them. They help me immensely in training. But don't get these unless your character is all set with PD, mount, weapon, armor, um, and stuff like that. Pet systems and a whole other story, but we'll go over that in a later video. Number two mistake I see people doing is they get into the game, they buy that Dream Fluff box, and they love and they instantly use it. They don't go to the Skill Angel and change their skills a bunch of times. Achievements are big in this game. They are very, very hard to obtain. When you're, below level, when you're above level 20, you can't change your skills for free, so you need to use skill vouchers. That, that is the, this right here, 300 Angel Gold, which is like $2.30 or something like that. Before you level past 20 and use that voucher to get you to 240, go to the Skill Angel, change your skill a bunch of times. Go different builds, go like Archer with Mage to get those achievements. They're so easy to get. And on top of that, do the um, top student graduation, another very easy achievement to get. The skill thing takes like 10 minutes of your time, not a lot of time to do. Change it to a bunch of different things. Just change your skills 200 times. You get that achievement. Change your skills to different things. 20 different things. You get that achievement. Um, very easy achievements to get. And achievements are very hard to get later in the game. Um, they're a very, very long grind. Top student training. Very easy achievement to get. Um, and the third biggest mistake I see people doing is during spam events, they have everything they need. I am guilty of this because spam events are very exciting. They have everything they need. They got their PD set. They got their weapon. They got their armor. They got the badge. They got everything they needed, but they keep going because they're like, oh, I could sell all these items. Don't do it. Don't. You're going to waste so much money because 99% of the time, you're going to get something called this. Age Ultra Scrolls. I have three characters full of these scrolls from the spam event for me just like basically just like lighting my money on fire and wanting to do spam event. Now, I did make a good amount of money off the spam event, but it's not from spamming myself, from buying low, selling high. We're going to go over that in the next video. But... <clears throat> spam event is a unique opportunity for players to catch up it never has any new items in it like items that weren't introduced before it's always items that were introduced before and it's just a way for if you want to come back to the game or come into the game you have all these items that you can come back with the exception of they do have new skills skills are always new 
like Healing Cross, Phantom Strike, Ben Overflow, Dimension Breaker. They're all new stuff that weren't introduced before. <clears throat> but see, when you come to the spam event, never expect to get these two items. Uh, I would say minimum of $10,000 have been spent on this game by players during this spam event, and there's been one Sarai necklace dropped across the entire game. Like, this is the top item. No one's dropped it. Bless bag, I've seen two drop on, among servers. Uh, suitcases, a bunch of them are dropped. This is the time where you buy suitcase PDs because you can buy one for $110. I got mine for $110. Um, when there's not a spam event, you're going to spend $150 to $200. My recommendation is if you need to conserve money and you need to be smart about your money because you don't have that excess capital, r aka real money, that's fine. Don't get discouraged. You just have to be smart. You have to think about your buys before you do it. Don't spam. Don't spam lucky bags. Don't spam the. Don't spam the spam event. Buy things from players. These copy bar vouchers before the spam event they were eighty dollars, eighty U.S. dollars. During the spam event, they're forty dollars. You could find them for forty dollars. Um, same thing with everything else. Fluff, fluffo suitcase you can get it for one hundred and ten dollars. Before the spam event, they're one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars. These skills, they're around six kg, which is fifty dollars a piece. After the spam event, you're not going to be able to find them. They're just not going to be findable, and um, you're not going to be able to obtain them anymore. Something like mana overflow, you're not if you're Low on money, you're not going to be able to compete with. People offer 12 kg for this thing, which is $100. Same thing with, like, Healing Cross. I got um, 6 kg for the Healing Cross I sold, and then 8 kg for the other one. Um, Unfettered Rage, I got $100 for. Guy Bulk, I got $30 for. Mind's Eye, I bought. Death Rand, etc. But if, you're, if you need to be smart about it, then be smart about it. Don't spam. It's very exciting when you see the SBC. Like, this guy just got 150 Butter Carrots. Don't do it if you need to watch your money. Control yourself. Be an adult. When I come to spam events, this is what I go for. I go for the skill vouchers. And then I go for the um, enhanced at enhanced tickets. Lucky enhanced pestles vouchers. This is what I go for. These let me pimp my armor set. And the skill vouchers let me finish up my skills. And that's what I go for. I also sell these for high. But I'll go over that in another video. Um... But there you go, guys. That's some tips and tricks about how to spend money smart. If you go watch my other video about the do's and don'ts, it'll have a little bit of um, of each that I touched upon here. The other video is very bland in that it doesn't go into detail. This goes into detail for you. Uh, make sure you give me a sub and a like on the video if you like it. And um, watch out for future videos of guides. Thanks for watching, guys.